Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I self tan. So about like a week or so ago, I posted a tutorial on how to be a sun-kissed goddess. And that was my take on a very bronzy, dewy makeup look to go with my complexion more when I self-tan. So it's a very like summery springtime look. So when I posted that image on um, Instagram and I posted the tutorial, a lot of you guys contacted me and said that you wanted me to show you guys how I self-tan. So that is where we are at today. And if you do not follow me on Instagram, follow me now. I will post my handle right here um, and you can check that out. I definitely post a lot of different things on there than what I post on here. It's a lot of like day-to-day -day type things. Obviously it's Instagram. And um, I talk about a lot of products that I love that I don't like make videos about on here. So give your girl a follow. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so when I self tan, normally the steps go as followed. When I get in the shower, I shave my entire body. Now, I shave my arms and my legs. I only do that just because. I don't know, I have tattoos, so I just figure like I shave them, so I just shave this arm automatically. Um, and that also makes it like easier to sunless tan because you are exfoliating by shaving. So that's just why I shave like my arms and my legs so that they don't look splotchy at all. Um, and so that's a good exfoliator. And then what I do is I go in with a scrub. So there is this scrub that I really, really like, and I'm gonna put the image of it down here. So this exfoliator is by Mana Carta. I think I'm, I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, it is called the Champagne Charcoal Scrub. Now I love this stuff. I definitely want to buy it again. I just haven't gotten the chance to rebuy it yet. I just haven't gotten around to it. But before I got an exfoliating brush and started like exfoliating my body that way, this scrub was like the bomb.com. It made my skin feel absolutely amazing. I used it all the time. I used it even when I was not sunless tanning. I still used it all over my body just because it gives you like a really clean exfoliated feeling. So if you're looking for something like if, if exfoliating brushes or like loofahs kind of like freak you out and you're not into that, I get it because some people, some people aren't into that. I would highly recommend this scrub um, just to pick up out of the tub and like rub all over your body. It gets a little messy because it is like a dark, obviously like sharply gray color. However, um, it's really easy to wash off. Like I used to get it all over my shower and it was no problem. So I wanna show you guys that option of an exfoliator. And then also I wanna talk about like an exfoliating brush. So another option for exfoliating is a brush, a body brush, or you can use a loofah. So I never really used the like body brush until my coworkers were like, you really need to get this. It's really good for you just to use in general, but also you should get it because it's great for, you know, exfoliating your body, self tanning. So when I finally did buy a dry brush off of Amazon, I've noticed huge difference with that than with just using like the scrub itself. But so I didn't really go the dry brush route the entire time because I just was not really into the idea of like using the same brush on myself, but I do wash it and it's not as weird as I thought it was gonna be. So <laughs> I highly recommend a dry brush to you guys because that's definitely a lot easier than using a like just regular body scrub. Okay, so after we exfoliate, so we shaved, we've exfoliated, now we get out of the shower and what do we do? We moisturize. All right, so I like the Jergens Hydrating Coconut. This is just never done me wrong before. Um, so I just will apply this all over my body. Now, when I show you guys how I'm gonna do it, I am just going to show you guys my arms, um, just so you kind of have an idea of what it looks like and all that. Because when I first tried this um, tanner, I wasn't sure because it's a lotion based. I wasn't sure if I was doing it correctly or if it was gonna look streaky. So. I will um, show you guys how I do it on my arms. So I just take some of this Jergens and, you know, apply it all over the bod. Now, obviously it's best to like do this when your body's a little damp um, because you lock in a little bit more moisture when your body is like fresh out the shower and you put lotion on. One thing I will say, because I've learned this from not only my friends 
telling me about this before I've done it to myself, but I have also done it to myself in past experiences, and that's the elbows. The elbows, my knuckles are obviously gonna get like a little blotchy, but that's because my hands are just so dry from constantly washing them right now. Um, so they will get a little patchy. That's not the sunless tanner, that's me. But when it comes to the elbows, you definitely want to make sure they are extra hydrated because you don't want them to get like that weird orangey where they're like way darker than the rest of your body. All right, we are hydrated. Now, it's time to talk about the product. The product that everybody keeps asking me about what I use the sunless tan is the Caribbean Soul Beach Colors Sunless Tanner. You can find this on Amazon and I think it's like $18.94 or something like that. For this, I have bought, this is my fourth bottle. This is new packaging, so they completely redid it, um, which I kind of like this better. It looks like not as tacky as the other one did. So I actually found out about this from my two coworkers, Liz and Victoria, who put pretty much all of us at my work on this tanner. Um, it is amazing. So what they recommend you do is apply it two days in a row and then take some days off and then do two days in a row and then take some days off. The reason that you do two days on and then a couple days off is because when you first put the color on, even though this is an amazing self tanner, you are putting it on your own body. And sometimes you have trouble doing that. So the color is not always even the first time around. You go in the second time, you just really even out that color and then you just have a gorgeous bronze look to your skin. Now it is one shade, I think, just one shade they sell. I'm not 100% sure, I think. Um, but this has always been the one that I got. Now, I am fair. You guys know this. So it definitely tans me, but it doesn't make me too orange. The only time it will ever make me too orange is if I don't hydrate my ankles or my elbows or my knuckles as much as I should, and then I over apply there, then I get a little orange. However, when you just apply this the correct way you do not get blotchy splotchy like you just look like bronze and beautiful so i love this stuff and i just want to point out before i show you guys how i apply it it is a fast drying fast absorbing hypoallergenic oil free and produces a natural color this is also an all natural self tanner. I just want to put that out there because there are a lot of brands out there um, of self tanners that have a lot of chemicals in them that can be really, really damaging if you use them over time a lot. So that's one reason that I really, really, really love this product along with the results. So when I apply it, um, I shake it a couple times first. Now this is a brand new bottle. And then I just apply, oh wait, duh, it's a brand new bottle. There's a cab. <laughs> so I just take it and I apply a small line on my forearm and the top of my arm. I just use my hands. I wouldn't recommend using a glove. I would not recommend using a glove only because when you apply it, can you kind of see how it like, um, you can see that I have like lotion on my skin. You see that how it almost looks exactly like how the jergen is applied. So that, um, because of that texture, I don't know if I would go the glove route. I would just be afraid if you use the glove that you would get those little fuzzy marks where it would like show because this is lotion based. Like it's not foam based. It's just a straight lotion. So I would be afraid that you would kind of be able to tell a little bit, um, if you use the glove to apply or mitt or whatever you use normally for like a foam, I wouldn't use it for that. So for this one, I should say. So I take a little bit in my hand, a little bit, a little bit of lotion, mix it, and I elbow it, and I back of my hands it. So I back of my hands it, which sometimes, like I said, we are gonna wash the sunless tanner off. I do let it sit on my hands for a little bit, um, just because you don't want stark white hands and then like bronze tan skin that's just weird so it will look weird so I just kind of go over my hands a little bit just to let the color sit in a little bit and then I will wash off the rest so did that arm now I'm going to do this arm okay so this is what it looks like when you apply it so what I do with it is I just kind of like work the color in I might apply more than other people I don't know I don't like 
applying lotion and feeling like I'm dragging all over my skin. So I apply it the same way I apply any other lotion. I don't apply it like it's a tanning lotion. So I just kind of work it and push it into the skin um, so that it really, you know, sinks in there. And also so it doesn't like look streaky. And I don't like the color just sitting on my arms too, where it's just like white, because then I'm afraid I'm gonna get it on everything too. <laughs> And then I just apply that a little bit, again, elbows and backs of my hands. I just notice um, better results when I do apply a little bit to my hands, opposed to if I'm not actually targeting my hands and I just like accidentally get color on them, then that's when it looks really, really bad. When I purposefully like really rub it in and like let it sit on there before I wash my hands, I get that like nice natural color. Now I'm going to go wash my hands. I've let this sit on my hands for probably four or five minutes now. So it's, it's the color's been on here for about four or five minutes sitting on my hands. So I'm gonna go rinse them real quick, just rinse, and then I'll be right back. When I washed my hands, I kind of lightly just patted them. They are still a little damp just cause I don't wanna like rub them cause then I don't wanna rub the color off. So. When I do this, normally, obviously, completely naked, rubbing it all over my body. When I'm doing my back myself, if I don't like ask Gage to put the color on my back, I will take some of this and put it on the back of my palms. And then I'll just kind of like throw my arm around and try and like get it. And normally I can get my whole back. I normally don't have an issue covering the whole surface and making it look even when I'm doing it myself you literally just gotta throw your arms back there. So what I do differently when I'm tanning my face with this stuff, cause this is um, okay for you to apply onto your face, even though I'm not crazy about it, cause sometimes it does break me out a little bit. It is breaking me out a little bit right now. However, this product does sell that you can use it on your face. I know a lot of people that do like it on their face um, and I use it on mine. I just noticed that it does clog me up a little bit more than my normal skincare routine does, which you can find on my channel because I just uploaded that not too long ago. So I do my entire skincare routine. After I use my moisturizer, I finish up by putting a little bit of this on my face. I apply it in a very thin layer. Like I do not do the same technique as what I use on my body when I use it on my face. I just use a little tiny bit cut with my moisturizer like I do with the Jergens, mix the two together and just kind of like rub into my face. I apply it on my eyelids, I apply it on my ears, I apply it behind my ears, I apply it on the back of my neck, I apply it literally all over my body. So give it about 15, 20 minutes, let it dry, get dressed, do your makeup and you are ready to go. And you will notice as the day is progressing, you will get slightly and slightly more tan. I normally notice it the next morning when I wake up after doing this, even if I'm applying it in the morning, on like a Monday. I'll apply in the morning on a Monday. Tuesday when I wake up, I always notice it. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a time it takes to develop, but do not give up on it. I promise you it is a great, great product that you are going to love. That is it, you guys, for my tanning routine. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, please let me know down below. Um, I am happy to answer any of the questions that you may have. If you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button down below as well. You can hit that alarm and it will let you know every time that I have uploaded a video. And lastly, if you have not already from the beginning of this video, go on to my Instagram and hit the follow button. Please do so now. I am so close to a thousand followers, so please join my little army. <laughs> and that is it, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.